good morning all of you this is srilata working as a pgt physics in telangana state model school bejjanki today my topic is work and energy here let us discuss about the idea of energy here see some sentences the word energy is very often used in our daily life in various situations like he is more energetic i am so tired and lost my energy today i am feeling more energetic than yesterday if you observe these sentences each sentence consisting of the word energy in that way we use the word energy in our day to day life to understand the concept of energy let us discuss some examples here case 1 a metal ball is kept in a ceramic plate is raised to a certain height from plate and allowed to fall on it see the picture here here a metal ball is at rest in a ceramic plate in the second picture a metal ball is raised to some height and allowed to fall on the ceramic plate if you observe these two pictures in the first picture metallic ball is rest on the ceramic plate so it does no work according to definition of the work according to definition of the work here there must be a force act on the object and also there must be a change in the position of the object in the first picture there is no force and there is no displacement in the metallic ball so metallic ball does no work in first picture in the second picture metallic ball is raised to certain height and allowed to fall on the ceramic plate what will happen to the ceramic plate here ceramic plate broken into several pieces why it happened whenever metallic ball is raised to certain height and allows to fall on the metallic plate this metallic ball does some work on the plate by observing these two pictures the same metallic ball in the first picture does no work and in the second picture it has done some work see the case 2 here a toy car is placed on the floor without winding the key attached to it and the same toy car placed on the floor after winding the key attached to it what changes do you notice you might have noticed that a toy car is at rest before winding the key but the same toy gets energy to move when the key attached to it is wound up before winding the key the toy car will be at rest position after winding the car will will be in moving position in that way in that way any object acquires energy through different means and is able to do work the capacity of doing work by an object on another object depends on position and state of the object which is doing work finally we can define the energy as the capacity to do work 
the capacity to do work is called as energy now let us discuss about the energy transfer and work we need energy to do any work and a person doing work spends some energy while doing work generally whenever we are doing the work we spend some energy okay but in order to do work also we need energy so that means a person doing the work loses some energy see this example on the table a wooden block is placed when we push a wooden block which is kept on a table it starts moving due to work on it as a result it gains kinetic energy here on the wooden block the force f is applied due to that force the object is changes its position through a displacement s the object is able to change its position due to the energy transferred to it by the force doing the work thus whenever work is done an object its energy either increases or decreases what we have learned today capability of doing work by an object or energy possessed by an object depends on position and state of the object which is doing work whenever work has been done on the object its energy either increases or decreases hope you all understood the concept of energy thank you